Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at 1 Timothy chapter 1, Instructions on Right Belief. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the commandment of God our Savior and Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my true son, in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace for God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. Timothy charged to oppose false teachers. As I urged you when I went to Macedonia, stay there in Ephesus so that you may command certain people not to teach false doctrines any longer or devote themselves to myths. An endless genealogy such things promote controversial speculations rather than advancing God's work, which is by faith. The goal of this command is to love, which comes from a pure heart and good conscience and a sincere faith. Some have departed from these and have turned to meaningless talk. They want to be teachers of the law, but they do not know what they are talking about or what they so confidently affirm. We know that the law is good if only one uses it properly. We also know that the law is made not for the righteous, but for lawbreakers and rebels, the ungodly and sinful, the unholy and irreligious, for those who kill their fathers or mothers for murderers, for the sexual and moral, for the practicing homosexuality, for slave traders and liars and uh, perjurers, and for whatever else is contrary in this sound doctrine that confirms the gospel concerning the glory of the blessed God, which he entrusted to me. So in this section, Paul is writing to Timothy, um, and Timothy is charged to deal with people that are false teachers. Because during this time, there's people that were going around teaching things without actually being true believers in Christ. They were trying to teach the law, but not actually teach what Christ said and what the truth was. Um, so Timothy was called to expose those lies and untruthful things that were going on during those days. There's teachers during this generation and this time that are doing the same things, and we are called to expose them as well. The Lord's grace to Paul, verse 12. I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who gave his strength to me, that he considered me trustworthy, appointing me into his service. Even though I was once a blasphemer and a per persecutor, a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of the Lord Jesus was poured onto me abundantly, along with the faith and love that is in Christ Jesus. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came in the world to save sinners, of whom I was the worst. But for that reason, I was shown mercy, so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him and receive eternal life. Now to the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honored and glory forever and ever. Amen. So this section is Paul uh, basically looking back in his life because he used to persecute Christians and he actually killed Christians um, for believing in things he thought was wrong. And he actually was a very violent man, but Christ came to him on the road and actually showed Paul who he was and that changed Paul's life forever causing him to be a tool for God to spread the word uh, just as I'm doing now Paul was spreading the message to the people because he saw and believed the charge to Timothy renewed Timothy, my son, I am giving you the command in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by recalling them you may fight the battle well. 
holding on to faith and good conscience, with some have rejected and so have suffered shipwreck with regard to faith. Among them are the Hymenius and Alexander, who I am handed, who have handed over to Satan to be taught not to blaspheme. So this is a final message to Timothy that um, he's called by God and that he is to be a messenger of God. Um, so overall, this chapter is basically showing the truth of God and what believers in Christ should be doing by exposing the truth, showing the tr what the truth is, and making sure that we are calling out wolves in chief clothing and making sure that any false teachings that are out there are being put to rest. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will see you tomorrow for topics.